Okay. People do quite well with this. A couple little glitches, like people wanted to write on this one. What's wrong with that? Well, you know, this is three squared over two. It's not three halves squared. You got to square the whole plain thing, right? So be careful about that. Whatever is in here, you don't just put a two on the end of it. If necessary, you put the whole thing in parentheses. Now, you don't have to with the hard mark. probably a good idea because if these are all variables, that's a multiplication of a bunch of variables, right? And that is in fact how the computer algebra system would interpret it unless you declare this as a variable. But for precaution, we'll put the square in there. If you did put the square in the aardvark, it's okay. If you're regarding aardvark as a word, I don't know how you square an aardvark. Everyone know what an aardvark is? In the picture. One of my pre-calculus students a year ago was inspired, which is quite a good artist. So, and we, we use this picture uh, when we're talking about logarithms. And that comes, we can actually do it now since you know how to invert an exponential function. Okay, people do it pretty well with that. But, okay, so. Z plus 2 quantity squared, right? Not Z plus 2 squared, parentheses, Z plus 2, and parentheses is squared. Okay? And not A plus B squared, which means only B gets squared. Whatever's in here is getting squared, because whatever in here is X, and X is getting squared, right? Okay? And this is a over B squared, and this is G of X squared. And if you have a formula for G of X, you could then substitute that, and that'd be a composite function coming along soon enough, but we don't really need them right now, so we're not going to do them yet. And this one is X minus 1 quantity squared. Okay? Where have you seen this before? says f of x minus 1 is x minus 1 squared. It's a basic f of x equals x squared function shifted one unit to the right. Okay? And we just saw that based on the rescaling. So we not only saw it, we saw why it works. If you understand the rescaling and how that causes the graph to shift in the counterintuitive direction. Um, and I'm going to kind of throw in that. Okay, well, you know what? This is true for any function. For any function f of x, equals f of x minus 1 is a graph of y equals f of x
shift to one unit in the horizontal direction. Which is one unit to the right. Okay. Now I haven't proven that. Take my word for it for now and you'll get to test it. Okay, because I'm probably going to ask you to do it. At least a couple more basic functions. So that let's take the basic reciprocal function. What's the formula for f of x minus 1 if f of x now is the basic reciprocal function, okay? And then how would you construct the graph? of the graph of y equals f of x. 